just about 77 minutes after poll closings, and with about half of the total vote in, we can project that Tom Suisi, the Democrat, has easily defeated Mazi Pillup, the Republican. Tom Suisi is a moderate Democrat, while Mazi Pillup is a more moderate or even liberal Republican. Now, this result was not surprising. Most people anticipated Tom Suisi to win, but about 30% of my viewers that voted in a poll suggested that Mazi Pillup in their opinion, was going to win. Obviously, that's wrong. In fact, Tommy, Tom Sweezy is easily crushing her in these results. Again, we see that he has won both of the counties in the district, Nassau County and Queens County. Currently speaking, he is outrunning Joe Biden, and Joe Biden won the district here by about 10% in 2020. Now, my prediction was also way off. I had him winning by about 5. He's on track to win by about 10 to 15. Now, this result is, again, not surprising, but we see that Tom Sweezy did very well across, across the board. Voter turnout is not particularly high, but it's not bad for a special election. And looking at the special election, Democrats generally, between 2021 and 2024, have been overperforming in special elections compared to the general election which is significant. Again, we see that perhaps even with Biden's really low approval rating, that Tom Suisi is still able to pull off a substantial victory. Now, if we look at the election in 2022, we know that George Santos was expelled from Congress for being a disgraceful and corrupt congressman. At least that's what the indictment alleges. We see that George Santos here, he won Nassau County by 10, but we if we look at the results right now, although less than half of the vote has been tabulated, we see Tom Sweezy, the Democrat, actually being up by 16. So this is a 360 from 2022. We also see Mazzy Pillup here. She She's losing Queens County with about 90% of the vote in by about 24. But if we look at the 2022 results, we see Robert Zimmerman, the Democrat, only won by less than 5. Again, this is a pretty monumental win for Democrats. It doesn't really mean much for 2024, but still, it's significant for the Democratic candidate. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.